Okay, Leo, I forgot to mention that uh, Oracle, or the, it's actually a tarot card. I can't believe I forgot that. Just going to read it straight from the book. Playful fairies and water sprites frolic in the air around a little child. They fill the air with expanding joy and happiness. Although many people don't believe in the elementals, nature spirits of all kind do exist. And they have more power than can be imagined. They live in the elements of earth, air, wind, and fire. And they're willing to share the guidance, well-being, and inspiration of the Akashic Records that ex exist in the natural world. This card is here to tell you that joy will soon be increasing. It also encourages you to remember to have fun. Bring more playfulness to your daily life. Let yourself sing a little and laugh a lot. Call on the elementals to inspire you in this and in other areas. They are a font of fun and upliftment that can expand the joy in your life in this great measure, in great measure. Um, you know, while I was thinking of that, I was reminded of how you have a transit of Saturn in the fifth house that you rule, and part of that is fun and games. So on the 19th, Saturn moves out of that fifth house. And I have a feeling that a lot of Leos are going to feel a lot of a sense of relief because you may have felt that things were too serious when you're trying to enjoy yourself, when you're trying to meet people. And Saturn, you know, tries to teach us things when it transits a house, but sometimes those lessons are lost when people feel like it's overly stern. So I have a feeling that you're going to feel a sense of relief by the time that the month is over with. All right, that's, that's a wrap, Leo. Take care of yourselves. Bye.